What is good everybody, it is your boy Switch, and in today's video, well let me tell you a story how I survived 100 days in a world full of dragons. A modern Minecraft world with different mobs you've never seen before, and a story on how I became the top of the food chain by conquering and eventually taming and flying dragons. Make sure you guys smash that like button because this video is actually really good. Quick shout out to Shadow Mecha on YouTube for putting this mod pack together. I watched this video and I had to try it for myself to see if I could survive 100 days. Of course, link to the mod is always in the description. But let's get into our adventure. Do this. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Oh no. Yeah, that is a... Uh... Yo, 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 that's an alligator and he obviously... He's coming to say hi, right? No, we're not We're not testing that. Nope. I'm not... Whoa, there's a pig there. Pig, watch out. Eat the pig. The pig is yummier. Bacon tastes better. Trust me. Trust me. Are you guys seeking refugees? Because I, I need some refuging. Um, There's no dragons nearby, is there? Hopefully not. If not, uh, I'm sure you guys can keep me safe. And of course, before we get on with this video, we have to thank today's sponsors. It's Dragon City. It seems to fit perfectly, and it is only right. This is a free-to-play game where you can collect a thousand different dragons and build your own dragon empire. The thing is, you can make so many different dragons by breeding two dragons to get a new type of dragon. So you're just not stuck to the plain, you know, ten regular dragons. You can get multiple combinations. You train your dragons by battling them. They get even stronger and look even cooler. And while you battle, you collect more food, gold, and gems your city gets even bigger and the good thing about this app is it adds several events so it never gets boring and to be honest guys they added a super cool addition the carl dragon yes carl i mean look at this thing because we did partner up with dragon city for today's video they are giving you guys a special free reward if you haven't signed up on dragon city yet it's 15,000 food 30,000 gold and a special gear dragon this is for only new users and it's only available for seven days as you guys are watching this video so make sure you check the link in the description and click that link to redeem your rewards whoa is that a village guard? Hey, bro, can I trade with you? Oh my god, he's right behind me. Uh, I, I come in peace, I promise. I promise. I'll steal this bed, though. Oh, wait, what? Day one was quite interesting, actually. The world was absolutely beautiful, but I was also on edge 24-7. I found myself in this new village structure, and it actually had a book. The book had some information that I could use, so I read that, and then I ran into this weird-looking portal thing. It looked super scary with these glowing blocks, and there was a skull on it, so I knew it meant danger. Raccoons. Hey, raccoon. Hey, buddy. Hey, our first appearance of a dragon. I don't know where... Is that its eye right there? If it is, um... Oh, that is loud. I probably shouldn't have not have farted. That's probably why it smells me in the area. Oh, uh, we're going to sneak by here. Oh my God, there's two. Guys, on day one, this is my first day out here on the job. There's no way I'm going to test that dragon. I don't even have a sword. Is that a spider? Is that a baby dragon? The main mods that are used for the dragon experience in this mod pack are actually Worm Roost and Ice and Fire. But I found this little guy here. I didn't know how to tame the dragons or do anything with them. So I just tried to feed them, but obviously that didn't work. We found ourselves on a ravine on day two, and there was some different ores I'd never seen before. And this weird zombie. Wait, what? That zombie does not look very friendly. <laughs> That's a villager. What the heck? Why do you sound like that? No. No, 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 no. No, you're, you gotta die. So I came to terms that zombies in this mod pack are just ugly? Or, I went, okay, let's not say ugly, just really scary. I spent all day two just collecting armor, and this is actually called steel armor, not iron, even though it looks exactly like iron. Your boy was lacking on food, so on day three, I had to come back up and kill some fish. Gold block, smite four sword. Yeah, and then I saw alligators in the water, or crocodiles. I didn't remember. I don't know the difference, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I triggered anyone. On day three, while I was traveling around, I saw a fly in this bamboo forest. It looks super cool. And then I saw what this. What is that? Oh, no shot. No shot. That, is that a, an orc? That's not an orc. One, a cyclops. That is a cyclops. After traveling from the ravine back to the village, I warned this villager that there was a cyclops out there, and I stole all the hair bales because I needed food. Oh, look at this tree. It's got branches and stuff. Can I... Whoa. I'm gonna break a branch. Oh, yo! It just flew off. I wanna die. Oh, God. It's falling on me. Okay, I'm fine. Oh, my God. It's... No way. Is it actually coming? Oh, my... That does not look friendly. Next thing you know, I'm being followed by a cyclops. I was just trying to find some squids. I needed their ink sacks. You know what? You, you stay down there. I don't want to deal with you. No, no, no. You stay down there. I'm not dealing with you. Tallest tree I've seen in Minecraft. You know what? I'm chopping it down. <gasps> oh my god, that's a dragon. Oh my god, that's a dragon. 
that is a dragon and it's firing fireballs at me. I mean, here I am minding my business, trying to chop down this tree to get some wood and just retrieve different types of wood. But of course, he ruined my day and I had to go oh, find careful. shelter. Oh, he's back. Bro, back to the hole. Back to the hole. Nope, we're running. We're running. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, get me out of here. Fly in there. Get in the hole. Run. Oh my god. Yo, 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 yo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And there we go, guys. That was literally the first occurrence where I nearly almost died. I had to dig myself in a hole and try to get it as far away as I could from this dragon. You guys can hear it sounded really upset. And all around me, I can just hear things on fire. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally resting there. Yep, we're just gonna swim out of here. You don't see me? You don't see me? You don't see me? I'm leaving. Oh, it sees me again. <gasps> I'm running, I'm running. Screw it. I'm, I'm, I'm making a run for it. Oh my god, run. God. Wait, you're, there's no way you're attacking me too, raccoon. Guys, I've had a bad day. And you're still gonna attack me? Yeah, these things are ugly though. I'm really not. No, this, you guys are not it. Yeah, so basically I was trying to navigate myself around this dragon because I did not want to bring the dragon back to the base, aka the village. The villagers didn't deserve that, but unfortunately I could not get rid of it. It was following me wherever I went. I just avoided you. Nope, nope, we're not doing this again. It literally followed me. So what I had to do was dig below ground. But then I actually found this cave as well. And I got a good look at what the caves were looking like. But once I thought I was close enough to the village, I made a break for it. And of course, the dragon's literally right above me, waiting for me. So I just had to play it safe. And I just tunneled my way back to the village. I managed to get to the village, but uh, yeah. Oh no, the dragon's in the village. Oh my, I... That's my fault. I lured them to the village. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Oh! Leave them alone! Oh my god. I really couldn't do anything, guys. I tried to protect the villagers, but the dragon actually hit me with its tail once, and I got out of there. I ran in to get my stuff, but I had to leave that village behind. I just couldn't do anything at this point. It was definitely going to be one of my goals to avenge those villagers. My first home. I traveled across the world and damn, it was beautiful. Shaders mixed in with the biomes, with the creatures and the dragons. I traveled for two days and I actually saw a lot of dragons, a lot of dinosaurs and all types of creatures along the way. Oh, that is a sleeping dragon. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I'm not going to go over there. Oh my God, I'm getting out of here. There's too many dragons around here. I'm not strong enough yet. I found this village here that was tucked away right in the forest here and it looks like it was safe from any dragon so I slept the night there. The following day I realized that there was a dragon or some type of creature staying underneath the village. I went to go check it out and it did not seem friendly whatsoever. It poisoned me like crazy. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. Oh, there's another dragon in the distance. I'm out of here. This world was not safe to say the least and I had to be careful wherever I went. There's another three-headed dragon over there. There seemed to be a nest in the middle of the lake here. So I went to go check it out. And it was the three-headed dragon once over again. And it shot poison out. Ow, ow, okay. We have it lured. Yes. Yes, now we now we loop. Now we loop. Aha. Uh -huh. Outsmarted, baby. So I devised a strategy to pull it out into the water. As soon as I had it pulled out into the lake, I went back to the nest. And there was a bunch of loot in there. The loot was okay. I mean, we were just starting off so we could use anything we could get. I end off day 13 finding this village here. They had a lot of hay bales and I decided to shack up here and store all of our stuff. We had taken in so much these first couple days that I just needed a quick little cave break. Little did I know the cave generation here was a little bit different because of this mm. modded Minecraft scenario. Wait, is that and, a And uh, pool? Yeah, just see how this plays out. I found this huge opening where there was a pool of lava, a bunch of spawners, and I just tried to conquer the whole area and light it up. That way you can kind of understand what it was. Just run. Just run for it. We're gonna light everything up. What is that noise? What is that noise? It's terrifying me. It's terrifying me. Run for it. Just keep running. Do not look back. Keep running. Run, 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 run. Oh, what? the zombies are all so ugly. Okay, these zombies are definitely stronger because they just look scarier. <laughs> yeah, after I dealt with that huge mob of zombies, I don't know if you guys have already noticed, but the zombies just looked absolutely different and they sound scarier. So I tried to clear and light up the majority of this opening here. And once I did, I finally got my rewards. These diamonds, aka just two diamonds. And I mined this, I believe this is blue geode. And then this thing was looking at me in the dark. Ah, uh, um, I'm just going to mine this gold and I'll leave you over there. Uh, I don't want any problems, pal. 
No, he's following me around. Oh my god, he's following me around. Please, please, please back off. Just shoot arrows and just keep backing up. Nope, stay away from me. Oh my god, why are you eating all the- oh. Wherever I went, there were zombies and just mobs everywhere. Oh my god. Run, Jarvis. I ended up finding a mine shaft here and I found this coin dragon inside a chest. What is this? Oh my god. And then I found this opening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? That's a dragon. Oh my god, that's a- I know you guys can't see it properly, but inside that opening, there was a huge cave dragon. It was sleeping, luckily. But I saw a bunch of chests, so I dug a tunnel underneath, and I dug up to the chest. Once I got to the surface, the dragon wasn't there anymore. It must have moved somewhere. But I did loot all the chests. I looked for the ores. There was a lot of random stuff. There was piles of gold, but I was able to find some armor, so I was getting a little bit stronger. I did take some time to mine some gold, though. And you know, me, just minding my business through this cave, and all of a sudden, I'm getting rained down by fire. I didn't know how to react. I literally just ran back. And I just started running and running. And all I could hear behind me was flames and dragon roaring. I was so confused. I just kept running. I didn't want to look back. This was the biggest dragon I had seen yet. In this mod pack, the biggest dragons are the cave dragons. And they lie down below. After that, I had enough. I said, I gotta get back up to the surface. And I had a lot of stuff that I collected already. So I made myself a full set. Made myself a katana. Look at this thing. And a steel sword. I then put some more pages in my book. And I did some research on the dragons out there. And I placed the coin dragons. Ah, oh, they were a nice touch to the little base that we had. Party with the coin dragons. What's up, boys? I figured living near a village would be actually be really useful. So I decided to find a place I could settle that was really close to the village, but not too close where if a dragon came, they'd die. I found this. <gasps> Is that a platypus? A platypus, Perry. guys. Hey, Perry. Oh my god, you look awesome. <laughs> hey, buddy. You look awesome. Dude, that's literally a platypus. I couldn't believe my eyes. I just saw a platypus in Minecraft. They were so cute and so peaceful. So this is exactly where I had to live. I started digging out an area right here. I did want to live below ground. If I did live above ground, it would be a hazard. So I decided to make a little bunker that would kind of go down. Moved in some cows, had our first little calf. Had some animals in our pen. And I just tried to stay as low as possible. Keep a low profile because I didn't want to put anything at risk. That following day, I actually took a boat and I wanted to destroy a bunch of lily pads so I could use it for a pathway. And I ran into my, probably my arch nemesis now, this three-headed dragon. And uh, I, I just couldn't deal with it. I had a bow. I tried to shoot arrows at it, but it wasn't doing enough damage. And when I got close to it, it would literally poison me to the point where I almost died. It was definitely showing me who was boss. I spent a lot of time trying to fight this dragon, as you guys can see here. But he's chipping away at my health. And luckily, I was able to swim away. But this three-headed sea serpent poison thing... Literally, I spent my whole day there, wasted so much time. But I got all the lily pads that I needed, and that following day, I made a nice little lily pad path towards the village to my base. It looked pretty good, actually. Connected all the way to the village, and the base was coming along together here. I used this type of different cobblestone block here. I didn't mind the look. It made it look really bunkery and medieval. Of course, had to work on the farms on day 27, get that food going, that wheat. So we can continue growing our cows and animals. And at night, I went to go check out the witch hut. But the witch actually destroyed me. Her poison potion went on for a little too long. I decided just to run in the forest and sleep among the stars on top of the trees. On day 28, I went to go look out for a village. Because I wanted to find some more books. I wanted to start enchanting soon. This village had a lot of bookshelves and also some hay bales. I mean, that's what villages are for. Looting. Oh my god. Hey bears, I don't mean any problems. I just want to check this out. Mama bear, mama bear. I mean no threat to your babies. I promise. And then I ran into one of these portals again. I had no idea how to access it or get into the portal. It was just super random. And I also needed a ride. So I tamed my first horse and I decided to name him Steve. He was quite a fast stallion. The first one we tamed wasn't the greatest. So we found another one and we returned back to the base and did some more digging in our bunker. The stallion. Steve the stallion. I don't know why I kept going down below but I wanted to get deeper just in case something were to happen and while I was digging through there was literally a mine shaft right below our base. So naturally I went. I was curious. I wanted to go check it out and next thing you know I got attacked by these zombies. They literally came out of everywhere. I don't know if there's a spawner on the other side, but I was actually really low and I could have died down there. Would have been kind of embarrassing to die to zombies in a dragon world. But it was time for me to get some my levels up. So I wanted to make myself a mob XP farm, the one I love to do. 
I needed a lot of materials, so I gathered a lot of cobble from just digging out our base and just a bunch of trees. I got in this fight with these alligators here and I almost died. Ah! Oh my god, crocodiles need to relax. Did I just- I almost just died from crocodiles. Yeah, after my near-death experience from the crocodiles, I decided it was time to make the mob XP farm. And this is exactly what I did from day 32 to 36. I made sure the cows were fed, the animals were breeding, and the mob farm building began. After AFKing and jamming out for a little while, I decided maybe it was time to cash out on my XP. I went down to check out the chickens, and I threw a bunch of chicken eggs, and they have a rotten chicken egg in here, and it hatched out this little thing called oh, the cockatrice. I want to say a cockatrice. So I spent day 40 building an enchantment table because now it was time to finally use my levels. I'd earned so many of them, and when it was all ready to go, I was looking at an enchantment table that looked like Tetris. I was so confused. I, apparently in Quark, you got to do some sophisticated enchanting and at the moment i was so dizzy i was i was upset actually i was like all my levels are going to waste ah uh, yes day 42 to 43 i found myself in a oh cave and i noticed these blocks look like ice blocks and so i was intrigued i'm scared yeah there was an ice dragon laying right in front of me and it was bigger than the average size dragon i'd seen out there so i just thought to myself maybe we should try to get the jump on it I got a lava bucket, and I wanted to pour a lava bucket right over its head. Maybe it's a better idea to just put it on its body. Okay, this is the perfect shot. We're going for it, guys. The moment Switch died or became a hero. Let's go. If I could pour it over its head, it actually helped me with some damage, and I had a lot of arrows. My bow was decently strong, but I wanted to fight and take down my first ice Dude, dragon. Did it just miss the whole entire dragon? Please don't be anticlimactic again. Please, just burn to death. Okay, it should be hitting the dragon now. It's immune to lava. I'm firing it. Screw it. Oh god. I've, I've, I've upset it. I've upset it. Where'd it go? Oh! The ice dragon had spotted me and it fired those ice shards at me. I was able to get to a safe distance. And from here, I could actually just fire my bow and be safe. I did not want to get close to it or be close enough where it could fire more ice things at me. I don't know what the things are. Oh yeah. We're far enough so it won't actually hurt us. It's on fire. Oh my god, this is so good. So they're just dying over there. I need a better angle. I need to I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but as long as I keep take it keeps taking damage, I'm good. Stay in that corner. Oh my god, I need to make an escape plan just in case though. Breaking blocks. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get me out! Oh it sees me! It sees me! Oh my god, it's charging right at me. It is upset. It is upset genuinely. I've upset it genuinely. Oh my god. My bow is not doing enough damage. I wish I knew how much health it had. I can hear it more to the right. I'm not sure where it is. For some reason, the ice dragon would always, you know, have aggro on me. Then it would drop aggro, luckily, because if it had aggro on me the whole time, I definitely would have died. But once it was gone away from the ice cave, I went in. I wanted to see what the whole cave slash nest was looking like. And there was ores of all kinds. Diamonds, chests. There was even piles of silver. But it was so dark down there. There was so many mobs of different kinds. Like, there was a random... I don't even know, cave tortoise there. Just a bunch of zombies, of course, and creepers. So my goal was just to light it up and make sure I could see as much as possible if it came back. Oh my god, that's his head. The moment it, it starts flying back at me, I'm running. It's chasing me. Run. Oh my god, I just dodged that. Just dodged that ice block. Oh, ah. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta be careful. Oh! Oh my god, these ice spikes. Not my base. <gasps> oh my god, there it is. You don't see me, you don't see me, you don't. I got it! No way! I. Dude. No way I've done. Is it dead? Is it sleeping? Better not be tricking me. This thing's dead, right? I'm literally on its body. Oh my god, I'm getting XP. Am I just finishing it right now? I just got a bunch of XP. I don't trust it. Um, guys. 
<gasps> that's a cyclops that's a cyclops no that this is literally a cyclops dude i literally just killed the dragon are you sure you want this are right, you asked for it run just run i need better distance dude there's no way i just killed a dragon and i'm getting chased by a cyclops i need to get any distance oh my god it's getting too close it's getting too close just run just run don't even think don't even think just keep faster stay away stay away stay away yeah that's what i thought bro a quick recap of what had just happened. I finished killing the ice dragon. I was trying to make some bottles to collect some of the blood from the dragon. And a cyclops literally comes out of nowhere. But I'm not messing around this time. I got an enchanted boat with some good armor. So I invited him to challenge me. I looted the whole entire dragon skeleton. I got a bunch of white scales, which I can make armor out of and its bones. Some flesh and even a dragon egg, which means I can tame my very own dragon and eventually fly one. So I was super hyped. I wanted to head back home and I found another dragon, but this one was a lot smaller than the one I just conquered. Yeah, I don't want to find out what happens when it gets here. You know what? Call me a wuss. Call me whatever you want. I'm going to kill this dragon safely. Just stay there. Just keep backing up, backing up and firing, backing up and firing. That's the name of the game. Oh, we got it. Oh, we gave you XP. It's dead. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at all this. There we go. There we go. There's the dragon bones. Can I wear this? Oh, I killed a stage five dragon. There's a lot, actually a lot of chests here. Bones. Uh, don't really need bones. Iron. Gold. Don't need gold. Diamonds. Hey, Croc. I'm not scared of you anymore, bro. What's up? Oh, they still hurt, though. Oh, my God. They still hurt, though. I could have just died there. Okay. Guys, I'm home. Coin dragons. I literally just slain the biggest dragons. You guys have no idea what I just went through. I have an ice dragon heart and a fire dragon heart. Yes, sir. What are these guys supposed to do? Are these mine? Just sounds like TV static. Yo, I look awesome. No way, guys. I literally look so cool right now. What the heck? So basically, guys, when you slay a stage 5 dragon, it drops this egg here. And for an egg to be able to hatch, it needs to be surrounded in water. And so I set it up. And the nest was now incubating an egg. Oh my god, it's actually- I, it's moving. It's rotating in there. There's a baby incubating in there. When it wakes up, it might think I'm its mother or its father. So that's, that's a good sign. Don't worry, I'll keep you safe. I'll wait here until you are good. Oh! Hey, buddy! Hey, me and you, friends. <gasps> Unnamed. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's on my... Where'd it go? Hey, buddy. Oh, it's on my shoulder. No, this is so cool. No way. Do a name. Isaac the Icy. Isaac the Icy, there you are. Isaac and I had big plans, we had big aspirations, but I just couldn't believe I had my very own dragon. His name was Isaac. Comment down in the comment section below, Isaac the Icy right now, if you guys are watching. I was so hyped to have Isaac, but it was time to go to the nether. I wanted to check it out, see what was going on, and I wanted to reach the end. The nether was quite, uh, dark, very confusing, and the majority of the blocks that were there, I didn't even recognize. Um, like, what is this? Is this supposed to be? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> no shot. I'm alive, I'm alive, I'm alive. I mean, the nether was really eerie. Like, there's these little structures that look like they were chain links. But I did find a familiar build. The nether fortress, thank god. Because I was so lost and confused traveling around the nether. Luckily, I did collect a lot of gold from a lot of the dragon's nests when they're hanging out. You know, there's the bunch of gold piles. So I made a bunch of gold ingots and I was ready to trade with the piglins. Usually in modded Minecraft, the piglins trade you different things, but it was very standard items, but I got everything I needed. I got a bunch of arrows, a lot of ender pearls, and most importantly, the fire resist potions. I traded them for a little bit, but then once I had the fire resist potions, it was time. I could go farm those blazes. I was clearing up some space in the blaze spawning area, and uh, of course, this happens. Oh my god, why does this keep happening? I should be dead, guys. I know, I should be dead, but Minecraft knows I need to go back to Isaac. But once I got enough blaze rods and got everything I needed, well, it was time just to go home. But I did make a portal exactly where I was because I wanted to explore a little bit more of the land. It was nice to be somewhere else that wasn't the base because I know I'd been hiding there, you know, collecting levels and just figuring out the world. But I was no longer afraid of the outside. What's up, dragon? Oh, it's mad. It is mad. It is mad. 
Oh my god, it's getting really close. Uh, run. Is it dead? Oh, why did I just dismount? Ah, 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 another dragon in the book. Is that a pillager to outpost? Yes, it is. Oh my god, actually, maybe I should start a raid and finally get a backpack. Wait, is that a dragon's nest? Oh, they're- what? What? Oh my god, they're fighting! Yeah! Um, yo, pillagers, just- what- what is going on? Oh! Oh! Get out of, What am I wa- Dude, the nests were right beside each other! Why- Oh, I think it's glitched out. You know what? Let me help you out. What is going on? There's literally two dragons fighting! As long as they're not attacking me... I'm, uh, I'm- I'm happy with that. Wait, is the ice one dead? Oh, the ice one is dead. I'll take credit for it. I'll take full credit for that. Run. Now's not the time to lag. Oh my god. Did I kill it? Thank god. I literally just started to lag. Yeah, you guys are seeing this. Um... Uh, so that just happened. Ow. One thing I forgot while playing this whole entire playthrough was... Well, I guess dragons are my predators. But at the same time, dragons are each other's predators and their own prey. So, I walked into two dragons fighting and I was able to loot both of their bodies. So, that was a win-win for me. Sadly, I ended up spending day 55 to 56 at this outpost here. Because I was waiting to get the effect from, you know, the boss pillager. And it took a long time. And so, I had to find a village as soon as I got the effect. I fed this raccoon, and I did eventually find a poor, poor village. But on the bright side, they have village guards. So they had to be an advantage, I think? I mean, I brought an unwanted raid to the village, so that's kind of my bad. But it was actually really cool fighting alongside these modded villagers. Like, these were literally full-out soldiers, and it was really nice to fight alongside them. I mean, the main reason is because not all the pillagers were targeting me, but... I mean, I had more hands to help me out, and I was also really scared to swing on one of the guards, because if I were to hit one of the guards, I didn't know if they were going to turn on me or not. There was an extra mob on the pillagers team that I'd never seen before. He had a blue outfit on, and he actually blinded me. So, you guys know that I get quite dizzy when things kind of get different, aka when I get blinded. I was literally just shooting at particles. I didn't even know what I was shooting at. And so, this is when it got dangerous. A bunch of vexes were swarming me while I was blinded. I didn't know what direction they were coming from. I actually thought I was gonna die, but luckily if it got too close to it or scary, I did have a totem of undying. Oh my god, I can't see anything and they're just the vexes, the vexes, the vexes. Get I was literally me. forced to run on rooftop oh to god, rooftop because all of them were aggroed on me. Run, like run. where did all the guards oh go? They must have died because this run. pillager gang was a little bit stronger with the guy in the blue outfit. I'm sorry I don't know the name of that pillager. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know down in the comment oh god, section just below. Run. Just keep running. Don't stop running. Villagers, good luck. Overall, it was kind of a tough raid. Like, I don't know. My, my, I had good armor. I had good weapons. But, but for some reason, they actually caused me a few problems. Oh my god, this guy's... Where's the real one? That's the real one. One on fire. Got him. Oh my god, what a journey. I did it. I am now a hero of the village. Yet, I don't see any villagers. As the vase, you are beautiful. Like a dream come alive, incredible. Sinful, lyrical, beautiful. You like a love song, baby. I, I love you like. Alright, we gotta get home. Sorry, sometimes when I play Minecraft, I just be listening to music and then I start singing along. If you guys know what song that is, you guys are awesome. If you don't, that's okay. But on my way home, I actually found a treasure map. And while I was looking for this treasure, this random sea serpent came out of the water trying to grab me and attack me. Luckily, I reacted in time, got on land, and I bowed it down. He really thought he could get me and sneak up on me. I mean, the loot was kind of worth it. There was one diamond. That's all I really wanted. But on day 61, we got home, and I wanted to find Isaac. Where was he? He was under the loom. He was hiding on me. Well, I'm sure he was hiding because he's waiting for me to get home. But when I got home, I killed a bunch of chickens and a lot of cows because I was going to make some dragon meal. Now, what is dragon meal, you guys might ask? Well, dragon meal actually lets me accelerate the speed at which dragons can grow. So typically, it takes the dragon one day to mature and, you know, it stacks up. But if you feed it dragon meal, it'll grow faster. 
I was uh, attacking these wandering villagers here, and Isaac was showing me some potential. He was protecting me when these llamas were spitting at me, you know? So, Isaac was in training, but he looked very ferocious. I spent the rest of day 61 just building this little bridge right across this area I dug out. But to make more dragon meal, we needed more bones. So, I headed onto the top of the mob XP farm along with Isaac and waited for mobs to spawn. Isaac and I had some good times up in the skies. He's getting used to being up in the sky because he was going to be able to fly soon. But on day 65, when I got off the mob spawner, there was a dragon just flying by our area. It literally surprised me. I had no idea what to do. I just started running away and dragging it away from the base. I don't know if it was attracted to me because I was up there or I felt another dragon, but it literally came out of nowhere. I just navigated through the forest that was right behind our house, and we just tried to bring it further and further away. And honestly, it died pretty quick. It made a pretty decent mess back at the base, but it was nothing that we couldn't fix. After that, I actually, I started doing some more research on the mod itself, and I made a dragon staff, which I can order what Isaac to do, and I also made a dragon horn, which I can store him inside it. But now I had a good amount of dragon meal from all the mobs I've been killing and the oh, bones. Oh, Isaac, you were looking like a beast. Oh, he is getting very big. He is, uh... I can't see properly now that he's on my shoulders. He's a grown boy. We now had everything we needed to go fight that Ender Dragon. We had the Ender Pearls, the Blaze Rods. Now I just had to get our equipment right and our armor right. Isaac was now big enough where I felt comfortable enough to take him out and go see the Ender Dragon. I definitely did not want him to fight the Ender Dragon. While I was traveling to the Stronghold, actually, I found just a dead dragon body here. It was literally just... It was dead. I don't know what from. It definitely wasn't me, but it was dead, and I got to collect some more dragon bones. During that night when I was boating around, I saw another Cyclops, and he was inside this dome thing, it looked like. Might be where Cyclops is stay. I'm not quite sure. But when I went into his little lair cave area, just a bunch of chests and a few sheeps here and there. Nothing crazy for loot. But my eye vendor went straight down, so I dug straight down. I mean, you shouldn't be digging straight down, but I felt safe enough to do so. And I entered the stronghold. The stronghold was kind of weird. It, uh, the stronghold was like half broken, so it was quite interesting to travel through. The library actually had some good loot. These books were actually going to be really good if we could figure out the enchant system. But we did end up finding the portal, and it was time. Oh, I hear silverfish. We've arrived at our destination. Alright, Isaac. As you can see, this is what a stronghold looks like with no eyes in it. How troll is that? But inside this portal is an ender dragon, so please, I'm going to keep you in here. Please enjoy the experience. I'll, I'll show you her for just a brief second. That's it. Let's do this. I'm honestly not even worried. All right, Isaac. This is what the Ender Dragon looks like, okay? I ask you do not hit her. There she is in the sky. Get a good look. You will be stronger than her. But let's go. Oh, God. I need to catch myself here. Oh, I failed it. I failed it. I failed it. Okay, good thing. Oh god, not again, not again. Oh my god, I caught myself with a little bit of water. <laughs> I should just try to MLG. Please don't, we're about to finish it soon, but please, don't do anything risky. We're gonna finish her now. One. Isaac, no! Oh my god, be careful, man! Okay. Thank god we killed the Ender Dragon. How are you doing on health? Okay, he's okay. Isaac is still okay. And that's the Ender Dragon right there. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, Isaac. Look, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Boom. Ah. Uh, yeah, so I had a few close calls here and there with the Ender Dragon fight. Basically, I just couldn't uh, MLG clutch my water bucket. That was about it. But we got our remote getaway in, and it spawned me literally on top of this obsidian tree. I don't even know what it is. I only spent two days on the other side of this end here because, honestly, the transport was going to be terrible. There was islands everywhere, and I couldn't quite ride Isaac yet. So, you know, getting around the end was not going to be ideal until I could take Isaac and fly him around. I did wait one day for him to grow, but he didn't grow up to the stage where he could fly me quite yet. This was a good time to see if, you know, Isaac was strong enough, he could defend me or fight anything off, and I found out a lot about him. Oh. 
You're a beast. Oh, yo, yo, I said you're a beast. I didn't know you had that in you, pal. But when we got back to the base, the first thing I did was I just wanted to sit on the mob XP farm. We needed more bones so I could make more dragon meal and grow Isaac figure so then I could ride him. And I was uh, surprised when I got back. No! Oh my god, I'm, I'm holding a totem. Yeah, guys, thank god I had the totem. Otherwise, my world would have just been deleted. I would have had to say goodbye to Isaac. But luckily, I was able to repair the XP farm and kill a lot of chickens. And I was able to make 19 bone meals. I got you 19 of these bone meals. You should be able to be a bigger boy. Come on. Grow. Grow, my boy. Eat. <gasps> oh my god. Dude. I'm literally so high up. Oh my god. Okay, how do I... F oh my god, look at me in F5 though. Oh my... Look at me. Let's fly. Oh my god, I love it. <gasps> Yo. Dude, look at F5. Dude. Dude, Isaac. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my... I don't even know how to descend. Oh, he literally destroys whatever he walks by too. Oh, dude! I can literally freeze everything around me. Me freeze this portion of the river to make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Oh, he's just flying around having a crew a joy ride. Come here. Oh, Isaac! Stop! 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 You're gonna destroy the place. Oh my God. Yeah. Dude, you guys stand no chance. It's so funny. Dude, I'm so OP now, bro. I just need to stand here and destroy him. Dude, I love it. I love it. Guys, I did I did it. I'm literally flying a dragon in the end. This was literally my number one goal going into this 100 days. I literally tamed a ice dragon. So Isaac and I, we just flew around the end. You know, there were so many things to see. So many different biomes and structures. But we did end up finding an end ship you to stay oh no he's floating he's levitating what are you doing shulker oh my god it stole my stuff i remember this guy he stole my stuff isaac help isaac help isaac help he literally has my totem give me dude i hate these things get him ow so I went around to end cities, end ships, just looting all the loot I could. And I got my elytra. Good thing I brought my rockets. But it looked so cool for me to fly beside my dragon with my dragon following me. But at the end of the day, I didn't want to waste my elytra. Nor did I want to waste my rockets. So I used Isaac when I flew through to the end. These magical cubes that steal your items ended up sneaking up on me. This thing is just so evil. The only way I could get rid of this thing, I, I couldn't kill it. It kept getting revived from my totem. So I just dug a hole and made him drop down it. Like, I just wanted to get rid of him. He's so OP. Get away. I'm just literally going to make you drop into the abyss. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Yes. Stay. Stay. This water is leaving you. Get out of my sight. Take a look at this view I had on top of one of the end towers here. There's a bunch of just glowing yellow trees and structures from the end. Shulkers here and there. It was just so beautiful in this modern world. Of course, I tried to loot as much as possible. Before I left, I did freeze a couple things with Isaac. And I just decided I was going to enchant a bunch of books rather than trying to enchant equipment. Because, uh, yeah, it was, I just gave up on it. Isaac and I found ourselves in the nether for the next couple days. Because, actually, to make some dragon swords, you need some wither bones. And I also wanted to fight the wither. The wither star could actually make these orbs. And I literally saw Isaac munch up a blaze like it was so cool i wasn't actually there for any blaze rods so i got rid of the blaze spawners and i spent the next few days just hunting down withers we need to get some wither skulls we needed the wither star to actually get these orbs to get in these portals at least that's what i thought i mean isaac was having a lot of fun in the nether he kept flying around and um it was hard for me to catch him so i had to actually hop in my elytra to get him inside the dragon horn and then i just peacefully not really i guess not peacefully but but i started killing a bunch of wither skeletons to hopefully find some skulls and some bones after slowly withering away and taking a ton of damage from these skeletons a few pieces of my armor actually broke while i was there but i was able to get six skulls and a lot of wither bones so i can make a bunch of weapons and anything else that the recipes called for but as soon as i got what i needed i got an isaac and we got out of there 
the nether looked so dangerous and just it just looked bad but it was time for an adventure slash combat. I suited up Isaac in full iron dragon armor gear. I spawned the wither in and the battle begun. I was 100% confident that Isaac would be able to fight this wither with me. But as soon as I spawned this wither in. Oh no. Oh my god. Isaac, be careful. This is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, this is really bad. Isaac's taking a lot of damage. But he's also laying down a lot of damage. Oh, I really hope he doesn't die. That's me, yep. I'm the owner of that dragon. This wither's kind of doing some damage, though. I was starting to get really worried. We would take down the wither, get him really low, but then it'd be able to regen. And then it would wither away my health. I ran away. It actually popped with my totems. I think Isaac may have saved my life and got the aggro off of me. I was so low. I ran away. I kept firing at the wither. And this battle here, I just had a really bad feeling about it. The wither cornered Isaac next to this tree in this hill and he killed Isaac. I was furious. I didn't know what to do. No way, you just killed my dragon. It committed to me, so I had to commit to it. I didn't care if I died. He just taken out my best friend. So I went all in. No. Wake up, dude. Isaac. No. Oh, gosh. Literally, Isaac's remains. Isaac was a stage three. I mean, we got the wither, we got the nether star, but I mean, we got it, but uh, we lost a friend in battle. I completely let Isaac down. I feel like a terrible owner. I should have fed him more dragon meal or at least given him more time to grow. It was just, it was completely my fault, but I love Isaac for it. He defended me to the moment he died. He actually saved me. I could have died and lost my whole entire world. Just in the comment section right now, man. Rest in peace, Isaac. He was a good dragon. But as you can see, I'm in a cave now. Isaac would want us to do this. I had some coordinates to another dragon. A fire dragon. And it was in a cave, which means it was stage five. Please don't see me. Please don't see me. Oh, it sees me. Run. Run. Oh, it's mad. Oh, God. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my god, look at it, it's so mean. I think this is bigger than the other one, I don't know. It, it looks bigger at least. Did I kill it? Let's play it safe here. Oh, I got it! Let's go! Wow, my bow is a lot stronger than the first dragon battle I've taken on. Yeah, guys, my bow was a lot stronger than it was for the first dragon fight, and the fight didn't even last that long. I think there was a lot of vengeance in my heart. A lot of pain just because my boy Isaac went, but I was able to retrieve a new egg. I did want to have a dragon. I had leftover dragon meal, so I placed down this fire dragon egg, and it wasn't working, so I need to get netherrack. So that's exactly what I did. Hopped into the nether, did a quick nether trip, got the netherrack, and I made a new nest to replace Isaac. I mean, nobody will ever replace Isaac, and you guys know that, but something to fill the heart and just to have a dragon around because we are in a dragon world, and we need some reassurance. I spent the rest of day 97 just designing this trophy area. I wanted to have it right across from my original base. And by the night of day 97, there was a baby dragon underneath all that fire. He was sleeping and look at him on my shoulder. I didn't know what I was going to name him yet. I don't know. What do you guys think? Pause the video and let me know what you think I should name him. Because I'm about to name him really soon. And you, let's see if you guys will guess it right, actually. I'd be surprised. I ended up making all the dragon armors with the colored scales I had. I didn't have every single scale. So if we do 200 days, maybe I'll try to get every single piece of armor and explore this mod a little bit further. I was able to get my dragon up to a higher level, but we needed a little bit more dragon meal. Killed some more animals, got some more bones, and he was now ready. Look at this full-size dragon. He let us know he was grown. He gave me a big screech. He went on a fly, and you have to go test it on some drakes. So I literally just lit him on fire. This guy was a lot different from Isaac. Isaac had the ability to freeze. This guy had the ability to burn things. And it would leave the world burnt. Just like the way Isaac kind of left it frozen with snow blocks. I ended up naming him Fierce the Fire. You know, the name seemed about right. He actually destroyed a piece of the base. So I had to make him calm down and let him chill for a bit. He had a mighty roar, guys. I won't lie to you. It kind of scared me. And on day 99, when we were flying around going for our joy ride, oh my god, we ran into another fire dragon. And this one actually hurt a lot. I decided, you know, let's try to do some combat in the air. So I used the abilities and boom, this dragon took down fears. Literally a takedown move. Oh. 
Did it just do a takedown? Oh my god. Like it, it looked like wrestling. It was insane. After that, I had to take it serious. I didn't want to die to this dragon. It was time for some aerial combat. There was another dragon that actually appeared for like half a second. I pulled this dragon away from it. And then I just took it out to the open. And I fired down on it with my bow. And I finished it. Oh my god, that's what you get. Oh, lily pad. My powers with the bow included with my powers oh, of the fire really dragon. Good. I was going to be unstoppable. And then, of course, guys, I wanted to try to kill the three-headed dragon that shot out poison, but literally no luck whatsoever. I don't know if you need a specific weapon or a different dragon type. I'll do more research if we end up doing 200 days, but we got absolutely destroyed, and honestly, it forced me out of there. I did not want Fierce to die the way that Isaac went out. But during the nighttime, I decided to give this ice sword a try, and it, was, and it was actually really cool. It throws up the spider and the skeleton. It actually could come to really good use against some bosses. And on day 100, it'd been a long journey, a lot of close calls, a lot of, you know, instances, occurrences with dragons. I tried to figure out the portal that I found on nearly one of the first days with the orbs. It didn't work. Um, so I made a cauldron, and I think this is part of it. Just let me know. I'm not 100% sure. You guys are usually professionals with mods. But if that's something I want to do, I will do that in 200 days. And remember when I told you guys at the beginning of this video, I would get vengeance on this dragon that killed my first home, the first village. So I took Fierce over there with the memory of Isaac and I slain the dragon. I looked around the village and I saw a lot of things from my first couple days, but I didn't see very many villagers. And that, boys and girls, is a story of living in a dragon world. It was so much fun playing this form of modded Minecraft. I enjoyed myself like a lot while playing this i hope it reflects in the gameplay i hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to smash that like button i'll have many more stories to tell and i'm really excited to tell you them and let's not forget today's sponsor dragon city don't forget to check out the link in the description you know claim those rewards and go have some fun it's been your boy switch i'll see you guys in the next video peace